Hi there, my name is Richard McMunn from the Psychometric Testing website, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass a spatial reasoning test. So if you have to undertake any type of spatial reasoning test, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to succeed. So first of all, what is a spatial reasoning test? Well, a spatial reasoning test assesses your ability to visualize movement or change in shapes and patterns. So what does a spatial reasoning test question look like? Let's start looking at some sample questions and I will then give you some to try live on the screen. So question one, which pattern A, B, C, D or E is created when the shapes are connected by corresponding letter? So we need to focus on these different shapes at the top of the screen. And you will notice that there are corresponding letters. So we need to connect these letters together with the corresponding sides to create a shape and then choose which one is correct from A, B, C, D or E. So if we connect the letter A's together, we get that shape on the left hand side. Then if we connect the B's together, it will come up with that shape and then finally connect the C's together to get that shape. And you will notice from the answer options that the correct answer, of course, is C. So now it's your turn to try some spatial reasoning test questions that are similar to the one that I have just demonstrated. So please put your answers to questions two, three, four and five in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you. I will then come on here each day and mark your answers for you. Now on the right hand side of the screen there is a green timer. You have just 10 seconds to answer each question. So question two, which pattern A, B, C, D or E is created when the shapes are connected by corresponding letter? Put your answer in the comment section below the video. Here's a timer to question two. OK, well done. And of course, the best way to practice any type of spatial reasoning test is to conduct lots of test practice questions. So here's question number three for you to try. Which pattern A, B, C, D or E is created when the shapes are connected by corresponding letter? Here's your timer. Question number four. Again, which pattern A, B, C, D or E is created when the shapes are connected by corresponding letter? Here's your timer. Put your answer in the comments section below. And the final one of this particular spatial reasoning test, which pattern A, B, C, D or E is created when the shapes are connected by corresponding letter? Here's a timer. Fantastic. Well done. So let's now try a different type of spatial reasoning test question. Question six, which of the four figures presented, A, B, C or D, is identical to the first when rotated? So we need to look at the figure on the left. And if we take one particular element of it, so we will take that bottom row of shapes, then try and find that either on A, B, C or D. So just use one particular area of the figure first of all and I've chosen that part highlighted in red and I will then work along and see whether I can see that identical when the, the figure is rotated within A, B, C or D. So I can't see it in A, so it's not there. I can see it in B, there it is there. When rotated, that is the same row, so it could be B. I then look at C and it is not in there and it is not in D also. So the only answer option it can be is B. But let's just double check that. So if we then take that top row and have a look if it is configured in B and there it is. And then all we need to do is to check the middle row. There it is in the center. When rotated, it's the same as the first figure. So the correct answer there is, of course, B. So now it's your turn to try some of these spatial reasoning test questions. Please put your answers to questions 
seven, eight, nine, and 10 in the comments section below the video for marking thank you. So same routine, we have the timer on the right hand side. Question seven, which of the four figures, A, B, C, or D is identical to that first one on the left when rotated? Here's the timer. Brilliant, well done. Question number eight, again, which of the four figures, A, B, C, or D, is identical to the first on the left when rotated? Here again is your timer. And if you can get these correct within that time limit, you are doing fantastic, I can assure you. Question number nine, try another one. Which of the four figures presented, A, B, C, or D, is identical to the first when rotated. And finally, before we move on to the next type of spatial reasoning test question, question number 10, which of the four figures, A, B, C or D, is identical to the first when rotated? Put your answer in the comments section below. Brilliant, well done. So now let's try a different type of spatial reasoning test question. Question 11, which answer option is a rotation of that question figure? Is it A, B, C, D or E? So again, instead of looking at the figure as a mass, choose one particular element of it. So I will choose that left column and it has that circle, the black filled in circle top left and that arrow pointing to the left at the bottom. And I will then try and find out that sequence in either A, B, C, D or E when rotated. And I can see it there on the right hand side. When rotated, that's exactly what that looks like in E. I can't find it in any other. So just to confirm, I will then look at the, the different arrows at the top right and the bottom right, see whether that is the same there and it is correct. So the correct answer there is E. So. I'd now like you to try some of these spatial reasoning test questions. Again, please put your answers to questions 12, 13, 14 and 15 in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you very much. So which answer option is a rotation of the question figure? Here's your timer. Question 13, same again, which answer option is a rotation of the question figure, A, B, C, D or E? Here is your timer. Put your answer in the comments section below, please. Question 14, which answer option is a rotation of that question figure, A, B, C, D or E? Here is the timer. And finally, question 15, which answer option is a rotation of the question figure, A, B, C, D or E? Here is your timer. So as you can see, practicing lots of these spatial reasoning test questions will help to improve your scores significantly during the real test and to help you if you now click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, head over to my website howtobecome.com and you can download my spatial reasoning testing book. It's a great resource. It comes in a PDF guide so you can literally have it within your inbox within two minutes from now and it will help to massively increase your scores during any spatial reasoning test. So make sure you check that out. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found the questions useful and I wish you all the best for passing your spatial reasoning test. Have a brilliant day.